in the league, you a fan of a team. Okay. And while you hate, I be hunting for the green. Uh -huh. You just chase your screen. Yeah, you go chase a meme. What? More space for me in the still of all you please. <laughs> I'ma blow the scene. No diamonds on my teeth. But the pearlies up on me. Tryna stay up, tryna stay up, tryna stay up. Hello, friendly listener. You are now tuned into the Rambling Rogue Show. I am your host, Rambling Rogue, a.k.a. Gyres Rogue. And if you're looking at the background there, you might be able to tell it's a little bit early in the morning and we are a little bit um, in a bit of a different setting today. So essentially, our setting, it's, I mean, typically the room, right? This exact room, right? But when I say it's a different setting, we're in like, a different setting for the show usually and by that I mean the time is different and also you know the setting of my mood is different listener so hello friendly listener this is episode shit what 27 hey, man. <laughs> salute to you salute to you friendly listener you know it's it's um only with wait hold on I'm thinking about how I could maybe make this podcast a little bit better. Um, it's only with you guys that actually any of this shit is possible. So, like, you know, thank you. If you're listening to this right now, if you're new, this is the Rambling Rogue Show, where I, your host, Rambling Rogue, a.k.a. Gyres Rogue, whatever you want to call me, just go on and on about whatever's on the top of my head. Um, I do this every week as just a way to just, you know, kind of, like empty my mind and kind of just you know just I guess you could say hit flush you know what I'm saying on the week's worth of thoughts and I guess things like that that just brew I mean it's not really the week's worth I kind of just fill a google doc for like the day before each show and then basically just you know talk about the topics there and then anything else that are on the top of my head at the moment so kind of a week's worth not really but then again i'm a stoner so like everything's kind of a blur until like that moment which um yeah the rambling rogue show anyway episode 27 thank you for listening thank you for watching if you're on youtube you're on soundcloud you can just hear the sound of my voice if you're seeing all the stuff that i'm doing right now salute to you um pretty much let's get into this we don't really have much today we have a quieter more subdued voice because again, it is an earlier morning. And yes, we were describing the setting. <clears throat> so like I've been saying in past episodes, if you've been um, paying attention at all, listener, um, I've basically been trying to get into this weird thing of like taking naps, right? So I want to start taking naps, not just before I go to work, but I want to just be taking naps all throughout the day. And eventually I want to actually just eliminate um, I guess like, uh, like just one long sleep, like at night, you know, I want to be up for more hours of the night and then basically just, I don't know, just have more availability to do shit. So, um, yeah, it's really weird for me because I'm like such a nap oriented person. Like, I mean, I'm such a like normal sleep oriented person like I just go day night like I really hated naps as a kid like I just it's just weird like why would you sit down like it's just even I not even as a kid just like even up until recently like I really didn't like the idea of just a person that just likes sleep like they just like to take naps like that's just I don't know but then I just started to think about you know some of the benefits to taking naps and just I mean rejuvenation and shit like that so it's just like come on i mean i need it's 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 only right right like you need more hours in a day so you got to sacrifice a few so that you could see some more you like that's that's it's only right and um when when i kind of framed it like that in my head just made sense to just start going for naps in every day so that's what we're doing listener you know what i'm saying and um yeah it's kind of like a weird grind so i fell asleep last night at like 7 p.m. 7 30 and i actually ended up just waking up at like what was it like like two no no it, it must have it, it must have been like maybe it's actually hard to peg it actually 
specifically when it was. You know, I might have even woken up at midnight, bro. Actually, yeah. So it's 6 or 7 a.m. Monday on time. These rambles July 16th. I know that's another thing about the setting I was going to get it to. But um, yeah, no, I, I actually f- fell asleep at around 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It was about that's about what, like five ish. I mean, because I fell asleep, at, like taking a nap at around seven, eight, and then basically, yeah, I just, just went into my room and then just took three hours, woke up at around midnight ish one. Yeah. Naps are lit. Whoever, who, who knew, who knew anyway? Um, Jesus Christ. I've gone on for six minutes about naps. It's the rambling rogue show though. You know, it's how we do here. It's ramble time. Ah, uh, what else do we got here for you, listener? What else do we got here? It's 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 an early morning ramble, and like I said, <laughs> it's Monday, so we're on time today with these rambles. You know what I'm saying? So I deserve a little bit of that, right? Um, yeah, no, we're on time with these rambles today. I took my nap. I was just up and I'm like, man, I just feel like I could talk right now. I really could. And so, yeah, I'm just here with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, I appreciate you for tuning in and I just kind of want to talk about my future plans today. You know, I just want to just talk about, um, in this episode, just a little bit about kind of what I'm just going to be doing in the future what I want to be doing um basically I'm planning out that (laughs) all right oh that's very unprofessional um I want to release more music so the Linda EP right my mixtape seven track mixtape it finally came out and um you know it's the mixtape that's all about my car Linda and um my Toyota Camry that I affectionately dubbed Linda. And um essentially with it being out, I just feel like all right, that's out, but we still need more. And so there will be more music out and that's what we're focusing on right now. But honestly, the podcast as I mean, listener, if you've been watching the podcast since, you know, the start Or if you just really go back and then you just actually just watch from the first episode to now, you may not notice it. Maybe you will. But there's a slight, mm, I I, I think you would notice a slight more, uh, I guess you could say, uh, I mean, the save for um, small differences. I mean, because those are just upgrades, but there's a slight more attention to detail. I mean, I was trying to do things like background music for the podcast. I was trying to, you know, even on some episodes have like the logos appear in the front and stuff like that. I know my, my, my computer is really, butt, so like doing stuff like that is just really a hassle. But, um, anyway, it's not even a hassle. It's just like, it's just, just time consuming. Anyway, that has kind of diverted that attention to detail and it diverted into my music and whatever your opinion on my music is, uh, um, it is music that I made that took, you know, just a lot of time, at least that mixtape. So with it being out, you know, and, and by time, I mean, it just took a lot of time to just kind of formulate, I guess, the uh, just the entire like thing. I mean, just to. To, to put the cover together, to put the songs together, to put the, the one music video together, to, I mean, been planning a second music video for Zen. And, um, you know, it's basically, it just took a lot of time and it took a lot of energy and it was something that just took a lot of my attention. So that attention is just going to start flooding back into the podcast, not immediately, um, but, you know, fall time, when I have lots more episodes out, 
because I have been made been made it on my um goals that I want this podcast to have more guests and I want to start actually just having conversations with people that you know I feel like are just coming up you know with me and around me in this time I feel like this um like people get excited when when the mic gets in front of them and even if they don't listen to your podcast on a week to week basis what I've noticed is is that if people you know if they just like know you have a podcast they know you're consistent with it they know you do it they know it's a platform they just know they could get on there they just hold that information for themselves and so they just wait i mean even in the past week i've already had what now two to three people already say like oh yeah we should do a podcast oh yeah we should do a show and i'm just sitting here thinking about the content that could be made and i'm just thinking about it like okay yes yes let's do it but I have to be consistent still. So <clears throat> that's what that's what my main focus is right now. It's just to be consistent. That's why I'm even trying to do this show right here earlier. And later on in the year, I can definitely tell you that the focus is going to shift more into, okay, yeah, we're consistent. Now let's get some bells and whistles. Let's get some, you know, possibly some, I don't know, multiple hosts let's get possibly you know more fucking and not fuck, fuck possibly more sounds for the soundboard you know what i'm saying more soundboard drops and stuff like that you know because and just i guess a better presentation because i mean that's just how things go i mean I, i'm learning as i do this you know what i'm saying it's not like i'm coming out saying that i'm like the best podcaster like i know how to do this shit i just watch a lot of content or at least a lot for me and i feel like i just wanted to attempt it and now i'm going on about my intentions in a way that i just didn't want to so yeah that's the plan for kind of the future we're just in a moment and in a period of shifting um i mean of course i am traveling to england so i'm going to be um <clears throat> you know of course going to london and seeing seeing the queen and 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 meeting her and having tea and 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 maybe even going to the pub and um i'm definitely going to be on tinder out there too and um you know what i'm saying we're going to just see what happens you know what i'm saying i just want to have a good time i want to see i want to hear music i want to go to a thrift store i want to go to a pub because okay look the fact that it's like 16, okay, that's the age of drinking over there. And the fact that like drinking is actually more like a, uh, like a, like a, it's like a, I guess, cultural thing. I feel like, I don't know, like maybe it would be nice to immerse myself in that. Um, I'm not a drinker at all. I don't partake in it but um and i used to do it i used to to not i used to cling to that kind of due to like a religious sort of thing but now i've gotten rid of that and i think i've said that on the show before but um so i'm kind of just open to the thought now i'm not you know clamoring to get a drink i don't really um really like drinking i don't really it's it's got a just a negative taste and just negative uh i guess you could say uh impression on me but um you know when you when in rome as they say so that's 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 you know that's uh, and and then i try to i tried to feel some fucking uh some some responses on my instagram you know what i'm saying i tried to get some people to say and and to comment to um tell me what i should do if i go to england or if they would go to England and, and fucking nobody fucking responded except for one person. Salute to my dude, Brandon Masenko. You know what I'm saying? The young, the young denizen. You know what I'm saying? The young, the young thespian. You know what I'm saying? The young, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that dude's just an all around talent. But, um, I mean, he is a musician, but I'm sure he could be an actor. He just has an actor's face he has an actor's vibe, you know, he has like a, he has a, he's just hip, man, um, salute, 
we rambling and we just lost our train of thought. So what's the next thing on the motherfucking bullet point? I am now going to still. Yeah. Okay. So we so we've gone through the future. We've gone through what we're going to be doing. When in Rome, as they say. Um. I try to get some responses on my IG. I think that's what I was saying. And yeah, man, I didn't get no damn responses on my IG when I asked people what they would do if they went to England. Um, but I actually ended up going into a Discord that I'm a part of. So I'm a part of the, uh, I'm scratching my eye. This must be quite the optic for the uh, YouTube listeners. Anyway, I uh, ended up going into this Discord chat that I'm a part of. Am I holding the mic right? wrist is messed up again anyway i ended up joining this um chat or just like entering the chat that i'm a part of for death grips it's like a death grips fans discord or or whatever and um you know the general chat which this chat actually has like quite a few members it's not i don't know if it's like a main discord for death grips but it's quite a big one and um you know of course memes and quite silly silly uh talk is It's just like everywhere, but, um, you know, here and there you'll have pockets of just serious conversation, like in any chat. And, um, so I just go in there, start springing some random conversations, start dropping the link to my mixtape, Linda EP, you know what I'm saying? On SoundCloud now. And, um, I actually get into this conversation with this, um, British chick, this English chick, who's actually just telling me a whole bunch of stuff about, how you know like you know england is cool she had a lot of pride she had she was she was a very prideful prideful english person and um i'm saying that this is like actually a common thing in these um you know these euro people you know these people have lots of damn pride in in the in the in the countries they are from anyway you know because and 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 it really started to rub off because a polish person um entered the chat and i don't know where these people are now in life but um, apparently they actually know each other. They're they're constantly in the chat, so they 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 conversate a little bit more, and um, yeah, they started going back and forth just off the basis of being English and Polish. It was it was quite an interesting thing to watch, um, and read. But anyway, she recommended uh just just hoofing it, you know. I mean, taking the tube, as they say, uh, taking the tube. And, um, you know, just going to like London, I guess, like city side or or wherever and just just hoofing it and just seeing whatever you find, you know. And um, she said it does kind of suck because she let me know that, uh, you know, Big Ben, you know, Big Clock, you know what I'm saying? Big Clock, you know what I'm saying? Big Clock. Um, Yeah, Big Ben is actually under construction right now, but actually that might look lit. You know, I mean, that's a that's a different Big Ben. That's a Big Ben that people just can't come up and see every single day. I mean, I didn't tell her that. But now that I think about it, I mean, she is watching a Big Ben that I mean, because the way it looks in uh, under construction, it has like these like she sent me a picture. It has like these black and metal rods just going and crossing. Literally like T shapes. It's really it's quite something. So, um essentially yeah big ben is out of commission but walking around and just finding something is is definitely the way to go oh yeah and then somebody in there also let me know to get a uh, sim card so that's what i'm also going to be doing i got to get a sim card for the london trip but i'm going to be leaving soon um and um i will be vlogging the entire london trip so you know like just 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 Tune in on on the Ramblin' Rogue, uh, uh, Ramblin' Rogue, on the Gyres in the Jungle channel, you know what I'm saying? Just, just peep an eye, you know? I don't like to just pepper this around too much, but, uh, hit the subscribe and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hit that notification bell and, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I mean? Just do that. Because soon we're going to have some 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 british content hopefully you know we get there and here's what i'm hoping happens i get there and like i'm completely embraced by the bros you know and i'm showed around 
um, you know, just like Edinburgh and like all these different places like that, like the hood. And then I'm showed like, um, you know, like London, like, but then like, it's just like nightlife London. And like, I'm really used to just like, for some reason, I'm just like really used to just like keeping up with everybody. So then they're all like really impressed with me and stuff like that. So then they're just like, all right, let's show you like super nightlife London. So then like, we just like start going in like, you know, super speed. And then like, you know, it just like starts turning into like a montage with like some like, you know, nice British rock, you know, just playing in the background. And it's just like, you know, it's just like, ah, oh, dude, wait, wait, wait. No. What's that one song? Um, what I think it was in The Departed. No, but that was like an Irish theme. Or the, ah, oh, dude, there's this one song that was in the movie The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 2, which was in... Uh, that was played which was placed in England the way the movie starts there's this song called like London Bridges or some shit like that that song starts playing and then I have a montage I start going through with my Brit friends my blokes and um you know you know we have a great we have a great time for like a couple nights and then the next couple nights it's all about just like super exploring seeing the countryside and like music and shit like legit like I, for some reason, meet, like, some kind of recording artist that's, like, on their way, and then I have my kid, and they have their kid, and then I engineer their voice a little bit, and then we just start doing some rap stuff together, and, like, it just happens. Like, that is what, for some odd reason, um, I am envisioning. Yeah. London. 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 10 days in London. It's going to be crazy. Anyway, um, hmm. what else do we got to talk about? We've been rambling on. You know, again, it's early morning. It's an early morning episode here of the Rambling Rogue Show. Usually, we're not only are we um late, right? So, it's it's not only a Monday, right? That's That's special, but it's also an early morning. So we're usually very late and we're usually very late at night. You know, usually you'll catch me after I have gone to work and fucking, you know what I'm saying? I've gone to work and I have taken a shower and I am just like, just like ready to just hit the futon. You know what I'm saying? And right now I am kind of ready to hit the futon because I've been up for about six hours. But at the same time, it's not like I'm like just needing to. Plus, I just took a fat sativa dab so it's just like you know like my mind is kind of like gone right now so I'm, just, I'm like in a really good mood for this um and i'm drinking water so it's just like i'm feeling great you know i'm just i'm i'm feeling great i'm feeling great listener i'm feeling great okay you know you're here i'm here we're all here and it's just a great time what else we got on the list That's right. Um, so the Banana Boys is is definitely coming back. Um, give me that. Come on. Don't do that to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, Banana Boys podcast will be coming back, uh, and it'll be coming back in the fall, in autumn, to winter time. Um, there is no rush on that. Um, my cousin and I, DeAndre, we are actually in talks right now of it. And, like, it's just a thing. I'm going to just be completely transparent in this. It's just a thing where we both need to, I think, get back into the same groove, into that same pocket that we actually got into. And that pocket oh, it was only achieved after, um, I'll say... I'll say just a couple months of really just just time where we just intensely were um just back and forth every day, you know, like literally anything, any 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 content that this dude would watch in relation to anything that he would think that I would have an opinion on, he would send to me and vice versa. And and when I say send, this would mean sometimes like you know you'll you'll just hoard it up 
stack like maybe one, maybe two, maybe three different topics into the, the iMessage chat. And then it's just like a six hour FaceTime call of just, okay, literally we're talking about the, not six hours, but probably like a two hour FaceTime call of just, okay, we're talking about this and we're talking about this and we're talking about this topic. And then I have a topic and then that topic and that topic. And then it's just hot air. You know what I mean? And then right after that call, we'll hang up and it's just back to texting again. And it's just constant and constantly, you know, it's just things that we see. And we got into this sink, you know, this sink that I think we can get back into this pocket. We can get back into, but, um, we haven't even spoken face to face yet. And when we do, there is still a couple things that I need to iron out with him. Just, I need to him to just that we not even I need him to say I just need us both to just acknowledge and I just need us both to just you know basically uh go forward with and and by that I mean the uh I guess you could say the we have to be both on the same page about exactly why we split up in the first place and why like what lesson we learned there and like what we just won't be doing in the future, like specifically in that situation. Um, because I think there was wrong on my part too. Like in, in general, I think in running the podcast, you know, we did about 10 episodes and we saw, um, like pretty decent success with those episodes. And, um, you know, like the content was looking like it was just not going to be able to stop ever. Like our dynamic, we both noted, in my personal opinion, it was just, it was really great. It was something. Um, I don't want to jinx us. I don't want to do that. But I'm just saying, you know, like, when we really get in and just, and it's just a, a tit for tat constantly, you know, we, you know, the Vera voice could be something. But, um, I just want us both to be able to just look at it and say, this is what I put into that. This was, that was negative, And this is how in the future, I will, I will not do that. I know for me in general, the whole podcast, if I would just let you know, listener, um, you might, you know, find more information about this, like, you know, off of the first episode of the rambling rogue show, which is called the death of the banana boys podcast. But if you know me, you know, you'll know, I'll just, I'm, 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 I'm like a lazy person, like a very lazy person that likes things to just happen. You know, like I I like efficiency, like because like, why is anything going to be slow? It just that doesn't make any sense to me. So for me, it just made sense to just focus on the content and just focus on getting that out. Because, again, it was like a lot more of my equipment that we were using and it was like different things like that. So I just felt like, okay. Let me focus on the content. Let me focus on like different like fundamentals to like building it as in recording it as in, you know, getting it so that maybe we don't even have to be in the same room to record as in, you know, like just different things like that. Let me focus on that. And then you basically focus on the behind the scenes part where, okay, you know, the accounts, all the different things like that, you mainly are on those and then you just run those. It should have been more of a 50 50 thing on just everything across the board. It should just be just a partnership. And um, I try to like relinquish some things away, like some some responsibilities. And I try to run away from that. And um, I see now that you really got to just put in the time. You got to put in the hours. You got to just bite the bullet, as they say. And um, and just like the swoosh Nick, just do it and honestly it's like that became clear to me after the podcast actually dissolved and i think now with that knowledge coming into the podcast now i think you know we're just stronger um at least i'll come into it much stronger and just like just more i guess head heavy and um by that I mean just smarter and by and I think DeAndre too you know he'll come into it just with this more just better understanding of things and I think that it, it it'll just produce content that'll be more consistent at least that's what I'm hoping so 
it is in the works to get us back up and running um, to find that sink again. That is what we're trying to find, um, and that is what we are in the process of doing. It's um, going to take some time, but um, you know, it's like it's like it's like all things. Um, but in the meantime, though, I don't want to be just doing just the podcast for uh, fall winter. So my other plan, though, I guess, um, going into the latter part of the year, I want to start doing music videos, but also skits. You know, I, I, I love the idea of just being able to just make a one-off single or two that are just about a specific topic or topics. And, and then, you know, you just have like a very creative video or a very creative skit to go with it. And it's just there. I love that. Um, you know, single standing by themselves on some real Joyner Lucas type shit. I like that idea. I like that. Uh, I love that. I've always liked that aesthetic. And um, I've always liked the album as well. Like I can appreciate a good sit down. But. <laughs> excuse me. But, you know. I really do want to get my, like, experience in putting out big singles and just, I guess, you know, just taking grand ideas and just crunching them down into three to four minutes. You know what I mean? So, skits and videos on YouTube are also what I want to be doing. A couple of my um, very unsupporting friends um, that I called that from two episodes ago when I was ranting about that. Uh, a couple of my very <laughs> unsupporting friends actually agreed to uh help me out with that so hopefully in the future we'll be able to actually get bernie and george to actually be um you know doing some skits with us and that might be cool you know like who knows what we can make you know what i mean i already have this idea about because if you know the song um vegan bitch or actually not vegan vb mating call which is on my uh soundcloud jars rogue soundcloud jars rogue media um Basically, if you listen to that song, it's basically just like a jokey song about, you know, just meeting a chick who's basically a vegan and, you know, who might have friends who are, you know, of different characteristics and they might be vegan as well. But, you know, they're just of different characteristics in women that you would find in 2018, like, um, you know, goth chicks or waifu or whatever. And um, basically, it's about just looking for these women and... um. I just see this just thing in my head over and over and it doesn't even have to specifically be me, but I just see this, this thing play out of somebody inside of some kind of like fresh and easy store or like a, a fresh food store of some kinds. And like, you know, we're trying to get women and you're literally doing the vegan bitch mating call and nobody's coming to you. And in your fantasy, maybe, you know, like you see her and maybe, you know, with the music video, you could do some hijinks or something like that. You know, you could do some something ridiculous like, you know, you could you could have me, you know, standing around just imagining a, a girl with like green hair or something, green eyes. And then like I reach out to get her and then, you know, maybe green makeup and everything, too. And then like I, I reach out to get her to grab her or something like that or maybe to kiss her or whatever. And then, like, she, you know, she, she just poofs away or, or or she turns into, like, a bowl of, like, kale or, or or something like that. You know what I mean? Just something goofy. You know, I, I just I just want to pull something straight out of my mind. And I just want to just I just want to do it. And um, it's just it's this weird kind of anxiety that's actually almost damn near growing because I swear to you, listener, it's like it's like so it's like clear as day. And, and now that I think about it, too. It's funny when I think about it because there's actually a health food store. There wasn't one around in my area. I live in the Inland Empire and in the Inland Empire, you know, you know, just <sighs> this is the valley miles away from um, Los Angeles and essentially over here, you know, we basically get the watered down version of everything. So, um, you know, we did have fresh and easy stores around. We did have fresh food stores, whole food stores around at one point they got phased out though. And I believe they're getting like a second turn or a second run. 
I don't know, like or a second wind, I guess you could say. I don't know how that exactly works. I don't know how that market just fluctuates like that. I mean, it's food, but there is most definitely listener a new uh, health food store or whole food store of some sort opening up not even like five minutes away from my house, you know? So I just feel like it's just, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's uncanny that I would be thinking about a music video in which a a male is, excuse me, listener, early morning, but I think it's uncanny and that I'm thinking about this crazy music video where there's a dude that's actually looking for a chick that's a vegan. And then there's a whole food store opening up like right next to my house. It's like crazy. So it's just like, I don't know. I'm going to try to go take advantage of that. Possibly. We'll see. I don't know. Um, those, those are just the ideas that I have in my head and just more silly songs like that. Um, silly songs. Volume two is definitely still coming. And, um, I just want to make skits, videos, and songs that are just goofy, but maybe that are just ideas as well. They just, they're just, you know, standalone things. They're just, I guess, yeah, they're just standalone experiences. Um, that's the best way I can describe that. Ooh, gosh, golly. I am like all over the place with like the uh, burps and the, and the yawns and everything. I'm so sorry. Listen, it's so unprofessional of me. But, you know, I'm not really a professional, so why would I actually apologize for not being professional? Hmm. Maybe somebody should be asking that question. Hmm? Anyway. Yeah. The new Death Grips. Oh, yeah. Um, The new Death Grips is banging. That new Death Grips is freaking banging, man. That that year, the snitch, everybody's fucking snitching, first of all. And, and second of all, like, when I first heard it, Actually, when I first even just heard, like, like, um, what is that song called? Black Flies? Or is it called Flies? Is it called Black Flies or Flies? Well, whichever one it's called. That song, when I first heard it, like, just as a single, yeah, nah, I was very much turned off. That one and, um, I believe Shit Show. When I heard those two songs just by themselves, I was just like, Oh, okay. I really did not know what was going on. Like, but as like a, but all together, like, like just as an album, I'm just like, maybe it's just because I don't know. Maybe it is re-listening to it. It's possibly that, but I really do feel like in re-listening to it, just even the second or third time I found, I just found it to click better when it just all grooved together now my first run through of the album it just was like okay this is decent death grips like death grips is online it's just like that 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 whole beat is just like so crazy and shit like that but i'm not even gonna do like a full death grips um freaking review right now but i'm just saying yeah it, it it definitely is a good album as a whole like i like to just cut it on and it's just like like especially the way death grips online it, it just it just it just shoes you in it's just like you know it's, a, it's just like a good entrance it's like a it's like an opening door it's like a like a creepy opening door you know and then you're just in the pit and then and then once you're in there you know it's just like really great sounds like just really great especially dilemma oh my god dilemma like like dude like nah but like that oh that shit is beautiful but um just and and as i listen to 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 the album multiple times the the reason why i know i like it a lot like just as a whole body of work you know like i could have really taken this album just like how they gave out steroids crouching um hidden gabbard or whatever that album was called um because it's like it's like a soundscape it's like just one it's just one big just thing and i and 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 um it just flowed well at this album the odds i mean the songs i mean i don't know man i i i really don't know about like again like just taking them out 
Ugh, singles just did not work for this. Death Grips is online probably should have been a single. I don't know if it was. It might have been. Um, but that one is good. I would probably put... Uh, I'll probably do ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, bitch. Da, na, na. I, like, I like that one. And like, just, just like, a, just like, ha ha ha, you know? And, um, because uh, I think they did, what, Streaky? Streaky. Streaky, Streaky. And that song, ooh, sorry, listener, very much reminds me of Eh from Bottomless Pit. And I don't know, I just, I, those very, like, laid back, subdued songs, like, or, or the more minimal, I, I guess you could say songs, the minimal songs on the more, like, louder Death Grips records, I don't know, like, they just, they're like, okay, they're like, they're, they're there, and they're like, they're just like good head knocks, but again, I, I think they're just better inside of the general mix of the entire album, not quite as, like, singles, eh, like, it was just like, um, I don't know, like, eh, 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 but it's good though and it's good in concert anyway what else do we want to say do death Hips is good skits and all that releasing linda was a relief go check out linda ep please please give me some feedback on my uh instagram at g-i-r-e-s r-o-w-g-h the kitty is meowing outside she's hungry um I got to go feed my cat. I don't know if you guys can actually hear that. But it's the Rambling Rogue Show. Thanks for listening. It's a morning episode. And, um, yeah.